good day. So, we're going to play an Abomination of a Deck today. Something I've been sitting on for a long time. Something I promised Six Sigma that I would stream. After I opened all my treasure chests and tried to get Nexus of Fate. Which we didn't in the treasure chests. But... We're going to play Time Warp of Wits. The plan is we're going to be taking a shot every time we win. So. Is that game or round? Uh, that'll be round. And it's also a lower percentage shot than the last time I did this. Uh, this hand is not playable, so we will mulligan. This hand is also not playable, so we will mulligan. All right, let's do it. Nexus of Fate to the bottom. And let's start Port Town tapped. Pass the turn. Opponent starts Swamp. Alright, Reman's a really good draw. Play Windswept Teeth, pass the turn. Welcome new viewer to the stream. We're just getting started. Opponent plays a Kite Sail Freebooter. Well, let's fetch up a Hollow Fountain and remand Drago Squirter. Play Glacial Fortress, suspend Ancestral Visions, pass the turn. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Opponent replays Kite Sail Freebooter. Well, we'll cycle Angel Song. Words that have never been said anywhere else. Opponent has to take Battle of Wits, and I hope they're scared. Let me adjust the stream there. All right, well, opponent does not have us on a fast clock. We'll play a Sunken Hollow tap to pass the turn. <clears throat> opponent gets in for one, takes us to 16. And plays a Liliana, Last Hope. Ticks up, Ancestral Visions, ticking down. We draw a search for his Kanta. Ooh, that's going to be really good here. So play the search. Play Windswept Teeth. Pass the turn. Opponent is on some sort of mono black deck. If we find removal for this Kite Sail Freebooter and then can cast uh, Battle of Wits, we're just going to win the game on the spot. I don't think our opponent has a single way to interact with that. Ooh, spicy. Opponent plays a Frexian Obliterator. Hopefully pretty soon we start drawing time warps and just start playing this game on an axis our opponent can't interact with. Opponent gets in for one. Um, and let's fetch up a Sacred Foundry. All right. Search for Iskanta. Mill Polluted Delta. Ancestral Visions ticking down. Play a Ghost Quarter. Pass the turn. Well, as long as our opponent doesn't kill us this turn, hopefully we draw any action whatsoever because we can play it. All right, opponent gets in for six, takes us to eight. Opponent takes up Liliana to six, plays Obliterator number two. All right, well, we gotta draw something. Stack like this so we can get Ancestral Visions in the grave. Draw three cards. We draw Time Warp. Uh, no, we will keep Temporal Sundering on top. Okay. We'll play Blood Crypt. Tapped. Time Warp. Target ourself. Pass the turn. Search for his Kanta. Uh, we will keep Giga Drows, Transform Search, draw Giga Drows, 
play a planes. Well, we can't cast Temporal Sundering this turn. Good news is, if we ever get to the point where we can, we instantly win the game. Um, okay, let our opponent draw. Goes to beginning of combat. One, two, three. Okay. Tap their guys. Leave up search for his condo mana. Okay, opponent's end of combat. Opponent thought seizes away Karn's temporal sundering. Probably to be expected. Ticks up Liliana to seven. She's in ultimate range now. Opponent plays a gifted Aetherborn. Okay. Activate search for Iskanta. We pick up Walk the Aeons. <laughs> Rest on the bottom. We draw Watery Grave. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. So let's Shock Watery Grave. Activate Search for his Kanta. Pick up Path to Exile. Rest to the bottom. Cast Time Warp with Buyback. Or Time uh, Walk the Aeons with Buyback. Target ourself. Sack our three islands. Take an extra turn. Untap. Draw Time Warp. Path Kite Sail Freebooter. Play Prairie Stream Tapped. Cast Walk the Aeons, target ourselves. Next turn. Draw Beacon of Tomorrows. Well, cast Beacon of Tomorrows, target ourself. Shuffle it back in. Draw an island. That puts us at nine mana. We are so close to winning the game. If we had one more mana, we could Time Warp Battle of Wits and instantly win. Uh, well, let's Time Warp. Target ourself. Activate Search for Iskanta. Pick up a Cryptic Command. Rest to the bottom. I think that actually does it. I think that lets us win. We draw Beacon of Tomorrows. Okay, we got to be very careful how we tap our mana here. Cast Battle of Wits. Pass the turn. Opponent ultimates Liliana the Last Hope. Goes to combat. Well, tap all our opponent's creatures, draw a card. Draw a path, F6. Hold it taps five mana. No, we died a gray merchant? Oh, we got robbed. All right, well this seems like a fair hand. We'll keep it. Oh, you're we so close, it got robbed. 
if our opponent like had any other spells in hand, they would have just lost. Uh, we'll keep Giga Drows and keep Remand on top past the turn. I can't believe that. Oh my goodness. Opponent Inquisitions hits nothing. <laughs> we draw. Remand. Play me Kokoro. Pass turn. Hold up Remand. <laughs> we have Giga Drows on top of our deck. Opponent plays a Blood Crypt. Tapped. Passes turn. Oh, this is excellent. We're going to get the Gift Swin here. Draw Giga Drows. Play Aether Hub. Get an energy. Pass the turn. Opponent plays a Swamp. Plays Liliana of the Veil. Well, we will remand. Draw a card. Get a Blessed Alliance. Untap. Draw a second Gift Sun given. Play a Plains. Alright, here we go. Opponent Thought Seizes. Hmm. Um, since it's their turn and they could have Extirpate, because they, they are playing a jank black magic deck... Uh, I guess we'll do this now. I guess it doesn't protect against extirpate, but let's get unburial rights and Iona, I think. Actually, Terastodon. That's a little safer. Unburial rights, Terastodon. See what our opponent does. Take a look. Takes a look at our hand. Takes our other gifts ungiven. Plays Liliana. Ticks up. We discard a Temporal Mastery. We untap, we draw, hopefully a land. Windswept Heath, well that's good. Unburial Rites to Rastodon. Surgical extraction! <laughs> oh, why, opponent, why? Why must you be playing good cards? Alright, opponent got us there. Biggest problem is we do not have a way to get in with Narset through the Liliana tick down. Oh man, that's brutal. That really hurts. We have to find an answer for Liliana. <laughs> Perhaps we should have just gifts for a pile of planeswalkers rather than Terastodon. Oh man. Oh, we should be winning this round. Alright, well, opponent fizzles our unburial rights. Opponent finally responds. Opponent ticks up, makes us discard. We will discard Giga Drows. Opponent discards an Inquisition and plays a Phyrexian Obliterator. Well, fetch with Windswept Heath. Let's get a hmm. Let's get a Prairie Stream. 
we draw a port town. Hmm. All right, pass the turn. We're going to hold up two mode Blessed Alliance here. Actually, I think we're going to single mode it to get rid of the obliterator and then uh, draw with Mikokoro. Okay, we discard Port Town. Opponent discards Obliterator. Plays Phyrexian Arena. Opponent does not get in. Oh, I think they've seen the Blessed Alliance, they know. Well, activate me, Kokoro. Draw Ghost Quarter. Draw Path to Exile. Play Ghost Quarter. Um... Do white, blue, red, colorless, colorless, whatever. Play Narset. All right, so if our opponent alts Liliana, we keep whatever pile Narset's in. 100%. Okay, opponent draws an extra card from Phyrexian Arena. Why would they alt when they could just minus? That's what I was thinking. Like, that is the correct choice, but it's like our only play at the moment. Opponent plays a gray merchant, takes away half of our life total. Gets in for five, takes us to two. We draw Monastery Siege. I don't know that that helps us right now. Hmm. Path Obliterator. Play Monastery Siege. In the draw mode, pass the turn. Opponent draws a card and loses life. Welcome new viewers to the stream. I'm Kano, getting drunk and playing Battle of Time Warps. We got robbed game one. <laughs> We're trying to fight hard for game two. Opponent ticks up Liliana. And plays Blood Moon. Well, that probably does it. <laughs> uh, I didn't realize the mono black deck splashed for the Blood Moon. Oh, Blue Source! Pitch Time Warp. Oh, if only we could resolve this. <laughs> okay. All right, we lost. <laughs> oh, but game one was so close. They beat us only because they had Grey Merchant. I would love to play first, thank you. Oh, hey, three lands and a three mana Time Warp. I mean, the rest of our hand is literally uncastable, but let's go. Let's do this. I have faith. Have faith. Faith in the time warps. Start Celestial Colonnade. Pass the turn. Opponent plays a Blood Crypt and a Flame Blade Adept. Well, maybe they'll wheel our hand and make it better. Play a Polluted Delta. Pass the turn. Opponent casts a second Flame Blade Adept. All right, we might just be really dead really fast. Opponent plays a Blood Crypt tapped, gets in for one. We take it. All right, well, fetch a Steam Vents. Tapped. Draw Savor the Moment. Play an Island. Play Savor the Moment as an Explore. We don't untap this turn, but we do get to draw a card. Declaration in Stone. Okay, that's a good card. Play Prairie Stream pa tapped. Pass the turn. 
Opponent cycles a Street Wraith, makes a couple big Flame Blade Adepts. Oh gosh. Oh, we're so dead. Opponent just has like infinite discards, don't they? Street Wraith, Street Wraith, Faithless Looting. Each discard pumps their guys by one. Oh no. We're taking 10. Bolts or face. Hollow one. Black cleave cliffs. Burning inquiry. Are we dead? Are we dead exactly? Ugh. Opponent just has the turn four kill. If we'd have been able to untap, we would have deck and stone oust and be fine. Unfortunately, that is not the case. Okay. Hmm. Let's bring in Trinket Mages, Chalices, and a Walking Ballista. And let's drop some of our expensive end game here. So we'll cut an Omniscience. Uh, we'll cut two time stretches, three time stretches. <laughs> and a few beacons of tomorrow. Try it like that. Oh, we got a Howling Mine. We got a three mana time warp. Let's keep. Play Talario West, pass the turn. Opponent starts Wooded Foothills. Fetches, finds a mountain, and a Flame Blade Adept. All right. We play Windswept Heath. Fetch a Plains. Play Howling Mine. Opponent gets to draw an extra card. Opponent cycles a Street Wraith. Faithless Looting. Bloodgast and Flame Wake Phoenix. Oh, but they don't have a land. All right, they get in for four. We take it, go to 15. Draw Narset Transcendent. Play a Flooded Strand. Fetch an Island. Savor the moment. Next turn, draw two cards. Hopefully we draw a land. We don't. Okay, pass the turn. The good news is if we're not dead, we'll have a uh, path and snapcaster path. Opponent burning inquiries. Never mind about that thing I said. <laughs> we draw panoptic mirror, Ralz Eric, and a land. Even two card combo, we need 260 card deck. Panoptic mirror combos with about 30% of the deck, Josh. All right. Opponent reanimates bloodgast. Plays a Gurmog Angler. Gets in for four. We take it. Draw a couple cards. Play a Sunken Hollow. Pass the turn. Just going to hold up Cryptic this turn. Discard Serum Visions. Opponent draws a couple cards. Opponent goes to combat. See if they reanimate the Phoenix. They don't. So tap our opponent's team and draw a card. Draw walk the Aeons. Opponent plays a Blood Moon. Thankfully, we are not soft to it this game. We draw a couple cards. Okay. So we have... Actually, they fixed our mana for Rawls Eric. Uh, so we have Snapcaster Path this turn. 
Okay, we are going to discard Panoptic Mirror. Opponent draws a couple cards. Opponent takes Walk the Aeons. All right, so before combat starts, we will Snapcaster for Path to Exile. Opponent bolts our face. Sure. Burning Inquiry. Well, Path the Adept. Flash in a Snapcaster. You could have given him a free turn today, too? No, sir. Absolutely not. Also, good to see you, Cafe Chipmunk. Opponent wheels us into our third island, which we desperately need. Reanimates a phoenix. Gets in. Well, block and block. Take two, go to five. We draw a couple cards. Play an island. Uh, yeah, I think we just pass and hold up cryptic command. Opponent draws an extra card. Flashbacks, Faithless Looting. Discards a Bloodgast and a Flame Wake Phoenix. Plays a land, reanimates the team. Goes to combat. Well, we let these triggers resolve. Tap all creatures our opponents control and draw a card. Opponent bolts our face. They could just have the last bolt. That would be really sad. Okay, we draw steam vents. Opponent plays a Flame Blade Adept. All right, we untap, we draw some cards. Opt and apart the Water Veil. Well, play a Mountain, cast Opt, keep part the Water Veil, start going off, take an extra turn, next turn, draw a couple cards. Snapcaster Mage and Day of Judgment. We don't have quite enough to Snapcaster Mage walk the Aeons. So we cast Part the Water Veil. Next turn. Play a Mountain. Snapcaster. For Walk the Aeons. Walk the Aeons target ourself. Next turn, draw some cards. Karn's Temporal Sundering. Oh, that's amazing here. So we play Jace Vryn's Prodigy, target ourself, target Blood Moon, Turn all of our mana back on. Take an extra turn. Get in for two. Opponent blocks. We untap. Draw a bunch of cards. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. 
eight mana. We'll let loot with Jace. We draw a polluted delta. Pitch trinket mage. Flip Jace. <laughs> Play polluted delta. Fetch a basic island. Play Rawls Eric. Plus Rawls Eric. Uh, tap the swamp. Untap a steam vents. Uh, plus Jace on a Bloodgast. Cast Walk the Aeons. Target ourself. Next turn, untap. Draw a bunch of cards. Draw Brawl. Okay. Play Steam Vents tapped. Plus tap the Swamp. Untap our Steam Vents. Play Brawl. Plus Jace. Snapcaster Mage. <laughs> For Walk the Aeons. Walk the Aeons. Target ourself. <laughs> and our opponent gives up. Yes! We won a game! <laughs> awesome! Okay, so is this EDH? No, no, this is modern. This is what a modern deck looks like. Bring in Relics of Progenitus. Bring in some Tormod scripts. Uh, yeah, this looks like a great hand. We'll keep this. Opponent starts Blood Crypt, Faithless Looting. Welcome, new viewers, to the stream. I'm Kano. I'm getting drunk and modern, and I'm playing Battle of Wits Time Warp Edition. So we're going to play Bloodstain Mire and fetch up a uh, Steam Vents. For every round we win, we will be taking a shot. We are currently uh, one and one in this <laughs> two man against Hollow One. Opponent thought seizes. Probably takes Angel Song. Yep, takes Angel Song. Reanimates a Blood Ghast. Ancestral Visions ticking down. We draw. A Narset Transcendent. We'll play Celestial Colonnade past the turn. Opponent fetches. Problem is we're going to get Blood Moon to this game. Like I can feel it and I don't think there's anything we can do about it. Not without drawing a bunch of islands naturally. Opponent gets in for 2, takes us to 15. Plays a Bloodstain Mire, fetches Bloodstain Mire. Plays a Blood Moon. Okay. Ancestral Visions, taken down. Play a mountain, pass the turn, hands uncastable. Have <laughs> fun playing mono red, yeah I know, right? Uh, well, opponent cycles a street wraith, plays a swamp. Gets an angler, reanimates a phoenix. Oh, we are very dead this game. We didn't draw blue fetch early on. We didn't draw any islands, now we're not drawing lands. Uh, you know what? You know what? We won a game this match. I'm going to count that as a victory. We should have won last round. We won a game this match. So I'm going to take a shot. I'm going to take a victory shot song, so we scoop it up. All right. All right. <laughs> Let's queue up for another round. Let's pour ourselves a victory shot. I've got my Joseph Joestar shot glass, because damn if this ain't a JoJo's reference. Ooh, this is a really good hand. We'll keep this. Uh, Alright, start Steam Vents. Actually should have started Prairie Stream, but we'll play Steam Vents. 
Pana starts Wooded Foothills. This isn't the same guy, is it? Nope. Okay, cool. Gets a Temple Garden, plays a Boggle. All right, well, we have one Terminus in the board, so let's hope we draw it. Uh, we'll play Prairie Stream, pass the turn. <laughs> Welcome, new viewers, to the stream. I'm Kano. I'm getting drunk playing Time Warp of Wits in Modern. Uh, we're just playing some two-mans right now. We're going to do a league in a bit. Uh, we might modify the deck a little bit before we get there, but right now we're playing against Boggles. Opponent gets in for four. We take a boatload. We draw an opt. Well, play a snow-covered island. Opponent plays a wooded foothills. Cracks it. Finds a forest. Plays a core spirit dancer. <laughs> Thanks, Mav801, for following. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, opponent plays another Hyena Umbra. Oh, no, that's the first Hyena Umbra. Well, either way. They play a Hyena Umbra. Well, let's opt. Maybe we can Hail Mary into something. Uh, search for Iskanta isn't bad. We'll keep a search for Iskanta. Opponent gets in for six. As long as they don't get a spirit mantle, we should be okay. We draw an Ancestral Visions. Suspend Ancestral Visions. Pass the turn. We're going to flash a Snapcaster to block here. We just have to hope they don't have their Singleton Spirit Mantle. Opponent plays a Dryad Arbor. Gets in for six. Well, here comes Snapcaster. <clears throat> Target opt. We'll opt. Time stretch to the bottom. We, we put a time stretch on the bottom and we drew a time stretch. What are the odds? <laughs> it is a four of. Uh, I should, should make that clear right now. It is a four of. We block. Take no damage. Untap. Ancestral Visions taken down. We draw a Jace Vrin's Prodigy. We'll play a search for Iskanta. Play Jace. Pass the turn. <laughs> Opponent. Did they just not have any more enchantments? Gets in. Well, we'll block the Dryad Arbor. Go to four. I don't know if they can kill us. I can't imagine Boggles can kill us right then. Okay, we go to four. We untap. Ancestral Visions and search for Iskanta. Ooh, no, we have to keep Angel Song. So draw Angel Song. Loot with Jace. Pitch the uncastable card. Pass the turn. We got a fog. Okay, opponent. Getting in. Well, we fog. <laughs> oh, we just need a little bit of mana. Take no damage. Untap. Ticking down. Uh, no, we will keep Giga Drows. That lets us stay alive. All right. Loot with Jace. Draw a Watery Grave. Um, we'll pitch Chandra. Shock in Watery Grave. Oh, shoot! Boggles have hexproof. <laughs> that doesn't let us stay alive. What the hell am I thinking? All right, punt. Add to the punt counter. That was bad. All right, well, we could technically Teferi into something. 
All right, we didn't. We didn't. We're bad at this game. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Good news. Good news. We have sideboard for this. We bring in trinket mages and two um, two chalice of the voids. We're gonna go down. Um, we're gonna cut some time stretches and some beacons of tomorrow. All right. I would love to play first. This is look at this, look at this hand. This hand's unkeepable. We just we have one mana that's colorless. <laughs> All right, Mulligan. Ooh, ooh, we have gifts. Gifts, gifts can win us the game versus Boggles. What am I wearing? I am wearing a purple metallic button down with a leather jacket and black pants. Uh, Nexus of Fate to the bottom. Start windswept heat. Pass the turn. Probably going to fetch up a uh, Sacred Foundry to turn on the blue half of Nimbus Maze. Opponent starts Boggle. Of course they do. They've always got it. Yes, it is a uh, goth leather jacket I got off of Amazon, I believe. I actually really, really like it. Play Nimbus Maze. Pass the turn. Well, if we can get to cast Gifts Ungiven before our opponent kills us, we win the game. That's just how it's going to be. So opponent shocks in Temple Garden. Starts suiting up the Boggle, putting a lot of pants on this little creature. Gets in for four. That's a lot of damage. We draw an island. Play an island. Pass the turn. Opponent plays a Razor Verge Thicket and a Spirit Dancer and an Ethereal Armor. <laughs> okay, I actually think we're going to die before we do anything relevant. Opponent gets in for 7, takes us to 8. Ooh! Actually, I think that lets us stay alive. Draw our one off Supreme Verdict, blow up the board. As long as our opponent doesn't have three damage worth of auras, we might survive this. Nope, that's three damage worth of auras. We don't survive this. 